First item in Unit 13 is adhere. Adhere. Adhere is a verb, meaning to stick to or remain attached, or to be devoted as a follower or supporter. Putty adheres easily to cracks in woodwork. Or, many people adhere to the religion of their parents. Now let's try word two. It is affirm. Affirm. Affirm is a verb, meaning to declare to be true, or to confirm. In the Declaration of Independence, the Founding Fathers affirmed their belief that life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness are basic human rights. Or, a scientific study may affirm the findings of an earlier experiment. The third item in Unit 13 is atrocity. Atrocity. Atrocity is a noun, meaning an extremely wicked, brutal, or cruel act, or something very bad or unpleasant. At a war crimes trial, victims often testify to the atrocities that they had endured. And, to many people, the destruction of the rainforests is an atrocity that will have global consequences. Our fifth word is cope. Cope. Cope also functions as two parts of speech. It can be used as a verb, meaning to struggle successfully against, to prove to be a match for, or to deal with satisfactorily. Astronauts are trained to cope with weightlessness. Cope can also be used as a noun that means a long religious cloak or a canopy. A bishop may wear a gold and white cope for a particular ceremony. Or, the English poet Shelley described the night sky as a starry cope. Word six is deter. Deter. Deter is a verb, meaning to discourage or to prevent through fear or doubt. Icy roads deter most people from driving too fast. And tourists may be deterred from visiting a country where political conditions are unstable. Our next word is disquieting. Disquieting. Disquieting is an adjective, meaning causing unease or worry. Being awakened by a strange sound in the middle of the night is a disquieting experience. Also, the increase in cases of food-related illnesses is certainly disquieting. Word eight is empower. Empower. Empower is a verb meaning to give power or authority to, to enable or to permit. Ordinary workers empower union representatives to deal with management on their behalf. Or, a motorized wheelchair empowers a disabled person to get around on her or his own. Next up is fluent. Fluent. Fluent is an adjective, meaning speaking or writing easily and smoothly, or flowing gracefully. A politician who is fluent in debate is likely to make a good impression on voters. Also, the judges may give high marks to a figure skater for a truly fluent performance. Our next word is lag. Lag. Lag functions as two parts of speech. It can be used as a verb, meaning to move slowly or fall behind. The performance of a particular group of stocks may lag. Or, if you lag too far behind the leader of a guided tour, you may get lost. Or, lag can be used as a noun that means a falling behind, the amount by which someone or something is behind, or an interval. There is usually a lag of a day or two between the time you deposit a check and the time the money becomes available for your use. Word 11 is mangle. Mangle. Mangle is a verb meaning to injure very seriously or to bring to ruin. A hunter's trap may mangle the leg of an animal that gets caught in it. And it is unlikely that an experienced lawyer will mangle a client's case. Next up is misapprehension. Misapprehension. Misapprehension is a noun, meaning a wrong idea or misunderstanding. The ancient view of the universe was based on the misapprehension that the sun revolved around Earth. Or, a series of misapprehensions may severely damage a friendship. Word 13 is optimist. Optimist. 
Optimist is a noun, meaning one who expects things to turn out for the best. At the beginning of a baseball season, you may be an optimist about your team's chance of winning the pennant. Or, a person who is an optimist is not likely to be easily discouraged. The next word in Unit 13 is prowl. Prowl. Prowl is a verb, meaning to roam about stealthily in search of something. A polar bear will prowl the Arctic ice, looking for seals. Also, during World War II, German submarines prowled the waters of the North Atlantic. It is stupefy. Stupefy. Stupefy is a verb, meaning to make stupid, dull, or groggy, or to surprise. A person may be stupefied by medication for a cold. Or, the unsuspecting guest of honor at a party may be stupefied when everyone yells, surprise. Our next word is sulky. Sulky. Sulky is an adjective meaning in a bad or nasty mood, resentful, or gloomy. Some people may become sulky if they don't get their way. And others may find it difficult to get out of bed on a cold and sulky day. Word 17 is supplement. Supplement. Supplement functions as two parts of speech. It can be used as a noun meaning something added to complete a thing or make up for a lack, or a section added to a book or document. The publisher of an encyclopedia may issue an annual supplement that covers the year's important events. Supplement can also be used as a verb, meaning to provide such an addition or completion. A gardener may use various plant foods to supplement the soil in a flower bed. Our next word is surge. Surge. Surge can also be used as two parts of speech. It can be used as a verb that means to have a heavy, violent, swelling motion. Heavy rains may cause a river to surge over its banks. Also, traffic may surge through the intersection. Or, surge can be used as a noun, meaning a powerful forward rush. A power surge may cause a computer to crash. Word 19 is trait. Trait. Trait is a noun, meaning a quality or characteristic, or a distinguishing feature. Courage, loyalty, and intelligence are traits that most people admire. Or, synthetic fabrics such as nylon and rayon have special traits and features that make them particularly useful in the manufacture of clothing. The last word in Unit 13 is unscrupulous. Unscrupulous. Unscrupulous is an adjective meaning dishonest or not guided or controlled by moral principles. The evening news may carry a story about unscrupulous salespeople who prey on unsuspecting tourists. Or a political leader may take a strong stand against unscrupulous treatment of migrant farm workers. Let's recap the words in Unit 13. They're pronounced adhere, affirm, atrocity, audition, cope, deter, disquieting, empower, fluent, lag, mangle, misapprehension, Optimist, prowl, stupefy, sulky, supplement, surge, trait, unscrupulous. Well, that completes our work on the words in Unit 13. If you've had any difficulty pronouncing them, or if you feel you'd like a little more practice before you actually try using them, Replay this section of the program.